Thank you. Uh, I'm Tommy Glosson. I live uh, in Hadley Township. My address is uh, 738 Mount Olive Church Road, Pittsburgh. And um, I've made a few notes, but uh, I went on, I have a lot of history. In fact, I'm over 80 years old. And I went on the planning board 38 years ago when Chatham had the first 11 member board. And of course, I stayed there six years. I was chairman for three years. And uh, that's when Farrington was started. It was in the second phase. And uh, the same people threatened then to take them to court. They're still living. Stockwell had a newspaper, and uh, he was the ringleader. They were going to sue him, stop it, and do all that kind of good stuff. And uh, then uh, I come to speak against zoning. And by the way, I need to tell you folks, I'm a Democrat now. I've been a lifelong registered Democrat. And uh, I want to speak against zoning. Uh, in my neighborhood, this is my neighbor here. I've added his land. I've counted um, 1,300 acres. And there's a subdivision up there, 170, 187 acres. There's 17 residents in it. And I've counted uh, 30 uh, <coughs> residents. And that figures out to over 40 acres per resident. And what I'm saying, why would the county, or you folks, want to zone that, spend county money? And of that 1,300 acres, well, I didn't ask my neighbor, but uh, he's opposed to zoning. He has a timber farm. And my farm's a timber farm. There's around 1,000 acres of that is timber farm. His neighbor and my neighbor has 100 acres in the uh, CRP. It won't be developed. I have 30 acres that won't be developed for 30 years. I won't be around to see it I'll, uh, end, but uh, I do get to manage the timber. And uh, the last soil survey I saw was of Chatham County, that just 71% uh, the 71% of that soil will not support septic systems. And if my arithmetic uh, is right, that's 29% that can be for septic systems. And uh, even in our area, we have a hard time finding some land that would hurt. And uh, we have, uh, Chatham County has more regulations than the adjoining counties. They have a higher water rate. I don't know why in the last few years so, uh, people have considered well water poison. I have three on my property. I've had it tested. And uh, might be what's wrong with me. I've drunk it for 50 <laughs> some years. But anyway, uh, we uh, have never asked for countywide water. I hope we never need it. And uh, uh, like I say, we have a subdivision regulation that if you have a land survey, it goes before at least three different organizations. And uh, I tell them it goes for everything except the church choir to sign off on it. And uh, there was uh, a few years ago, we had a developer here. We talked about changing the zoning regulation. I came down. And he was from Lee County, and he says in Chatham, to go through your subdivision regulations, I didn't ask him whether they're lying, but I had no reason to, said it'll take about 18 months. In the adjoining counties, he said, I'm doing it in 30 days. And I feel like that is sufficient. I really don't think the county should spend money to zone our area out there. And... Um, I haven't heard what the cost would be, but it will be a cost to zone it. And I have some friends that will probably speak sometime or other. One of them over around Harper's Crossroads, 
they have 1,500 acre farm. And I asked him the other night, didn't he want it zoned? He said, no way. There's it all in cropland and pasture. And uh, I really am opposed to the zoning. <clears throat> That's, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Thank you.